Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and here's my review of one of the worst films I've seen last year in 2011, but eventually came out this year as a wide release. It's called The Devil Inside, and boy, I pretty much couldn't believe I had to sift through this piece of shit. But this makes the worst in me because this is way worse than movies like Zoom, Epic Movie, Southland Tales, Monkey Bone, every movie with Justin Timberlake in it, and so on. I just can't believe how stupid and awful this piece of shit really is. Well, here it is. The movie stars Fernanda Andre, Simon Quarterman, Ivan Helmont, Ignan Gramna, Susan Qualley, Bonnie Morgan, and Brian Johnson. And it's co written by William Brett Bell along with Matthew Peterman, and it's also directed by him as well. The movie begins in South Hartford on October 30th, 1989. Maria Rossi brutally murdered two priests and a nun during an exorcism and calls the police. Two years later, she is arrested and sentenced to a South Hartford State Asylum. However, a couple months later, she is transferred to a Centrino Mental Hospital in Italy. Twenty years later, her 25-year-old daughter, Isabella Wasi, accepts to make a documentary of her mother, and she travels to the Vatican School of Exorcism in Rome. Isabella befriends the two priests, Father Ben Rowlings and Father David Keane, in the School of Exorcisms. Then she visits her mother with the director, Michael Schuffer, that is shooting the documentary. The two priests invite Isabella and Michael to witness an, the exorcism of a young woman. Then they go to the hospital where Maria Rossi is a turn to exorcist her. Father David shows the evidence to the church and Maria's doctor, but they are not accepted. Soon Father David is possessed by a demon and commits suicide. Isabella has a seizure and Ben and Michael take her to the hospital. Soon they learn that Isabel is possessed by a demon and they need to take her to Father Gallo to help Ben in the exorcism. Oh, this was just such a really, really bad found footage movie that I've seen in the theater of pretty much the entire crowd who actually attended a screening of this movie because my brother Jason along with his wife Tina took me to see this piece of shit and I kinda remember from this day forward that I totally walk out of this film after 35 minutes into the film now I know a lot of people have said that for those who've seen the film actually saw one of the worst endings in the film well I didn't stay till the ending so so I wouldn't know for sure but I bet it's a piece of shit ending that I ever heard of because I have nothing to say other than the fact that it has no story no characters development whatsoever the shaky cameras are ridiculous and these lame ridiculous jump scares that scared the hell out of me because of the freaking sound system that went up high to the maximum now I'm afraid of going to movie theaters because of that and yes that's been going on for goodness knows how long it was but it's been going on forever and I'm sick of it I really am and what's more amazing about this bad film that I've just seen is that it's from the same people that gave us stay alive you know the forgettable video game horror film that stars Frankie Muniz not to mention they were responsible for all these B horror films that went straight to video such as Pinocchio's Revenge don't believe me 
Look at his IMDb profile and you'll see. This was indeed the worst film I've ever seen. Even if I dare see this film again, it wouldn't matter to me at all because I kind of remember how stupid it looks. And I'll tell you this though, I'd rather see The Exorcist 200 times than having to sit through this piece of shit for the longest line of my life. I really hate this movie so much that I just totally cannot stand it. No matter what, trust me on this one, you will definitely regret this if you ever see this piece of shit. So I give The Devil Inside, out of all hidden places, zero stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye!